There's nothing like chilling with my girls Just me and my divas taking over the world It's your girl April. So I know, I know this is totally out of the norm. I've done jumped out of the box and I thought I would go ahead and give it a try. So this is the Bobby Boss Blunt Cut Bob Wig. And this one, I do believe you pronounce it Exxon. I'm not really sure, but I'll definitely post the link below of where you can pick this unit up, which is no other than sisterwigs.com. Now it does have a middle part. As you can see, the roots are a nice deep dark color and I'm going to make the parting look as natural as possible by using my pressed facial powder. And what I like to do is I like to just rub it on the inside. The unit does have combs at the temples as normal, as well as adjustable strap and a comb and a nape. Now as you see right here, I'm just gonna take my brush and just spread that evenly throughout the part area. So that way it just kind of looks like, I would say, scalpage, okay? And I'm also going to be putting a little bit on the front as well. So I went ahead and wrapped my scarf totally different this time. You know, a girl does like to change it up. Now these two little hairs are actually for my leave out because hey, a girl does like to keep it looking real. Now to fill in my thin edges, I'm going to be using this here, which is called Boldify. It is equivalent to Topic, meaning it's the same exact stuff. However, it doesn't come with the pump nozzle spray as you've seen I did show, so I did remove the one from Topic. However, it's half the price and a double the amount. So definitely check them out, I'll post it below. I was feeling kind of Egyptian-like in this unit as you guys can see. Now as I'm showing you here, this is the portion of where I'm going to be pulling out those leave out whisker antenna type hairs because I do want it to look as natural as possible. And that portion that where my part is at is actually that wig grip and the stocking cap that you'll see which is kind of lighter than the rest. So I will be blending that in a little bit better. But for the first thing, I want to make sure that the hair looks like it's kind of like growing out of my scalp. Now we all may know that this may not be my hair, but hey, you never know. So I'm going to make it look as realistic as possible. Um, first, I'm going to fill in my thin hairline, which is right here, as you see. And I'm spritzing on some of that Boldify. And they're just nothing but tiny little hair fibers. And I'm going to go ahead and then use some concealer to blend in that middle part and make it look even more natural and realistic as possible. You want to always use a small brush, a small makeup brush, or even maybe a small Q-tip, whichever you have on hand. But just make sure that it's small enough to where your concealer is not getting all over the place. I'm now going to take my toothbrush and I'm just going to brush my hair in into the wig. I like to use a toothbrush because it is a smaller brush size and it will get right in the right areas. Now just to hold my hair in place, I'm going to be spritzing some of my favorite hairspray, which is no other than Aussie Instant Freeze. You see, I have used this product in so many videos. I absolutely love it. But you definitely have to check out the Bobby Boss wigs. I actually did a blunt cut blue one last week, which was Yara, and I do like that one as well. I guess, you know, hey, I'm getting kind of into these Bob styles, especially if they're totally different. And I kind of do like this one. It's a very blunt cut. It's a light yakky kind of texture hair, so it will blend with any African-American type texture hair. It's a very blunt razor cut kind of style. It does come in an array of colors. As you guys see, I did go for that very, very kind of like spunky color, but I kind of do really do like it. But it, the density of it is very natural looking. The hair did shed just a little bit when I first started brushing it. But you know what? It's synthetic, so I'm really not concerned about it. If you want to add heat to this unit, you can definitely do so. But as for me, I probably would leave it just like this. I'm not really a big fan of the middle part, but it doesn't look too bad on this unit. And you can do 
behind the ear look if you want or you can just leave it sleek and sophisticated but yeah bobby boss is a really great brand and i'm really kind of like feeling this bob here as you guys can see especially the color i think the color had a lot to do with it as you can see right here very blunt and razor cut and the flow and ease and movement of it is very very easy and flowy so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you check out sisterwigs.com i'll post all of the info below along with the coupon code i love you guys stay deep and delicious and i'll see you soon bye